Now still on matters of Kenya and Rwanda, some of the Kenyan businessmen and women here in Rwanda have highlighted the benefits of the cooperation between the two countries in various sectors. We now go to Adam Squizera for more. Some of the activities that were carried out by His Excellency Dr. William Ruto on his first day of the state visit to Rwanda include sending memorandum of understanding in nine various sectors, which includes trade activities, agriculture, education, and more. Some of the Kenyans who are carrying out business activities in Rwanda retaliate on the benefits drawn from the cooperation between Rwanda and Kenya, which facilitates residents from the both countries. And it is a mutual benefit. We are really benefiting from this country, especially with developing tourism, I would say in my sector. Kenya, of course, uh, 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 people are assisted by the, private, by the government, but here it was really amazing. So there has been a lot of uh, opportunities for the two countries in terms of uh, development of human capital. Mount Kenya University, for example, has been in Rwanda for more than 12 years now, and in those 12 years, we have graduated thousands of Rwandan professionals in all different sectors of the economy and in all different uh, professions. They also emphasized that the cooperation of both countries plays a significant role in the development of the East African community and Africa as a continent in general. It's very exciting because uh, recently the East African Community Initiative, if you're aware, has been going around uh, they have uh, different uh, scholars from different East African countries sharing notes and even inspecting institutions of higher learning all over East African region. That means that in the very near future, uh, with the opening of the cooperation, Rwandans can be able to work in Kenya and vice versa or in the other East African region countries. I, I am so excited. I was so excited to see my president uh, 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 Dr. William Ruto and my president, uh, 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 His Excellency Paul Kagame together, because these are two leaders who we have a lot of hope in as a continent. They are decisive, they are strong, they are sober, they are pan-African. And um, the two countries have been very key in the East African community build-up in, into business and everything. And this, our two presidents are the kind of presidents who can say, remove the borders. I, I, I was very happy to hear about how they, they want that we open up the air, you know, the communication to be open. And if the other heads of state in the East African community can follow them, we can see an open uh, uh, East Africa and an open Africa, you know, in the end. Currently, there are about 10,000 Kenyan diaspora in Rwanda who work in various sectors and others are students, the President of the Republic of Rwanda, His Excellency Paul Kagame, reiterated on the role of this Kenyan community in the development of Rwanda. We are very happy that Rwanda is home to a large and vibrant Kenyan community. We are grateful for their contributions to our development. Private sector growth is a key priority for us in Rwanda and Kenya. Regional integration and trade is a big part of that equation. I hope we can leverage this shared interest to equip our youth with the skills and knowledge to innovate and compete. To put our resources together is to own our development with less dependence on the rest of the world. On the second day of his state visit to Rwanda, Kenya's President William Ruto appreciated the Kenyan community in Rwanda for representing their country abroad. Congratulations to all of you who have um, been daring enough to venture ab abroad and to keep the flag of our country uh, flying even in these far lands. I had a chat with uh, President Kagame last evening and I must tell you guys you have kept a very good account of yourselves. The president of Rwanda had tons 
of appreciation and gratitude for what you are doing in Rwanda. Pongezi sana. You have actually lived up to the belief that, in fact, the best ambassadors we have anywhere in the world. And I want to ask you to know that whatever it is that you do, in whatever place, you are not only doing it for yourself, but you are doing it for our country. Kenya is the first East African country with a stable economy, where in the last two years its GDP was about 110 billion US dollars due to the increase of the export rate at 11.2% and import rate at 20.1%. Who are all these are due to the impact of Mombasa Boat, which serves many countries in this region. Adam Squizera, RTV News.